the most highly anticipated featherweight fight of all time. Connor looks extremely loose, and Aldo looks like he's feeling the pressure of this moment. Green trunks for the southpaw, the notorious Connor McGregor. Black trunks for the champion, Jose Aldo Jr. Connor relaxed and smiling. Oh! He slapped him! Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy's called a stop to this contest at 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor McGregor. Just wow, no controversy, no confusion, clean. The new undisputed featherweight champion of the world, Conor McGregor. Give me your thoughts. Um, again, nobody can take that left hand shot, but I tell you, he's, he's powerful and he's fast, but precision beats power and timing beats speed, and that's what you saw there. So, honestly, I feel for Jose, he's a, he's a phenomenal champion. He was a phenomenal champion. He deserved, we deserve to go a little bit longer, but I still feel at the end of the day, uh, precision beats power and timing beats speed all day of the week, so it would have happened sooner or later, but. Connor, let's look at it. He moved in, you slid to the side and landed a beautiful left hand on the chin. And he landed a, a left hand of his own as he was going out cold. Went down, you finished him off with hammer fist. Look at it one more time from a different angle. No power, no power, no power just precision. No speed, just timing. These are, these are fundamentals, so that's all it takes. These are four ounce gloves, that's all it takes. And especially when you add my left hand, nobody can take that left hand shot. You looked incredibly relaxed coming in here into the octagon. How did you feel in comparison to your first title fight with Chad Mendez? Give me your thoughts on what this experience has been like for you and the love of all these Irish fans that have come here to support you. I swear to God, yesterday at the weigh-in, yesterday at the weigh-in, I didn't want to get off the stage because the last time in July when I fought for the belt that time, I didn't embrace it all and I wanted to just embrace every bit of it a bit more because sometimes it's over before you even know it and then you're like, I wish I was in the moment a bit more. So this time, I was a hell of a lot more in the, in the moment and just enjoying the whole process. Well, congratulations, sir. You are the undisputed UFC fan.